Welcome, my beautiful Carbless brothers and sisters. Betty here with Carblessly Delicious, serving low-carb and keto-friendly recipes, such as this delicious dish of cauliflower shrimp fried rice. You'll love the tasty blend of these fresh veggies and scrumptious shrimp. And if you were thinking about a quick takeout for this evening's dinner, perhaps I can convince you to dine in instead. I have these beautiful jumbo shrimp here. I like to go with the fresh raw shrimp in my recipes. These are the easy pill that you can purchase already slit down the middle in the vein. Quick and easy to clean. That's right, my darlings. Our goal is to work smart in the kitchen, not hard. Well, why should you when you don't have to? Okay, we're going to season our shrimp with a sprinkle of pepper and a few twists of sea salt. That's it. Keep it very simple. We don't want our shrimp to compete or overpower the tasty blend from our veggies. Go ahead and mix well. I like to use my hands to get in there and massage all the flavor from the seasonings into the shrimp. Then we'll set these jumbo beauties to the side as we get our veggies started. Trust me guys, you don't want to take the easy ride out using frozen vegetables. Fresh veggies is the way to go for this dish or any dish at that matter. I'm going to dice up our onion, green bell pepper which is replacing the peas in order to keep our dish low carb and keto friendly. Also our carrots, green onions or scallions, whichever you have available in your local supermarket. Basically, they're the same, so it doesn't matter. We're going to save them to the very end to garnish. Mm, you know your girl believes a dish ought to be just as pleasing to the eyes as it is to the taste buds. Yes, visual appeal and darn right delicious. <laughs> okay, guys, go ahead and sit back and relax while I finish off these veggies and take you through this entire recipe. It's important, listen to me, it is very important that you don't miss or skip any of these steps in order to duplicate the delicious results that I get. And if you miss steps, I can't guarantee you your results would be like mine. So sit back and relax. Here you have it. Cuts are not too fine. A nice bite size to stand out nicely in our rice. Okay, let's coat our heated wax with olive oil over medium heat to prevent our oil from burning. We're going to start off with sauteing our onions first. Stirring continuously until the onions release a bit of its own water and become translucent. Now we can add in the carrots and the bell peppers. Go ahead and toss it around to blend the veggies together. Here are the seasonings we're going to add to our veggies. As always, ingredients and exact measurements for this recipe are listed in the description. We have soy sauce, sesame seed oil, ginger and garlic paste, black pepper, and sea salt. In goes the soy sauce, sesame seed oil, here's our ginger, just a little squeeze is all we need here. The same with our garlic paste, just a little squeeze. a sprinkle of pepper oh my god I am telling you the smell is so good up in Betty's kitchen right about now you hear 
<laughs> All these delicious fragrances blended together sends off such a great aroma. Oh my goodness. Now we can combine our rice cauliflower. You can rice your cauliflower in a blender if you like, or you can purchase it already riced for you like I did. Remember, darlings, we want to work smart in the kitchen and not what? That's right. Don't work hard if you don't have to, darlings. Go ahead and pick yourself up a bag of rice cauliflower and reduce your prep time in half. I prefer the dry cauliflower located in the produce section over the frozen cauliflower and I'll tell you why. Cauliflower like most leafy veggies contain water and once frozen and thawed or microwaved you're going to get excess water that you'll have to drain and it may cause your rice to come out mushy which we don't want for this recipe no no darling we want our rice to have the firm texture of real rice and you can achieve this by just going with the dry cauliflower okay and while this continues to cook on medium low heat we have enough time to go over to our shrimp coat a separate pan with olive oil and goes these big babies here on medium high heat it would only take roughly six minutes to sear both sides of your shrimp until they turn bright gorgeous orange Yummy, yummy. Go ahead and turn off the heat and set these babies to the side. Meanwhile, let's head back over to our veggies. Oh, look at there. Doesn't that look good? The collie rice has softened to a nice texture. Now we can scramble our eggs. Go ahead and scoop your veggies over to one side of the wok, leaving plenty of room for our eggs. Here we go. One, two, three four eggs will do it for the portion we have here pour in a dab of olive oil to coat the bottom and go our eggs if you like you can beat yours first it really doesn't matter I left mine whole to prevent the eggs from running over into the veggies this allows the whites to firm up a little on the bottom first before we break the yolks the eggs wouldn't fluff as well if you were to mix it all together with the veggies while it's in liquid form. Once it becomes firm, we can go ahead and begin to blend everything together nicely. Okay, once everything is blended well, now it's time to load in our shrimp. Get them all in there and let that juice drop in there as well. More flavor to add to your dish. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now all we have to do is combine everything together. Look at there. This is loaded with shrimp just the way I love it. The only way to get your rice loaded like this is to make it yourself. It seems like whenever I order Chinese food out, I have to search through the container that's full of rice just to hunt down my shrimp. Now, here in Betty's Kitchen, you don't have to do that. Absolutely not. It is loaded with all the shrimp you can ever dream of. Oh, yes. Look at there. Now, are you guys a shrimp lover like I am? All right, and you very well should be. Not only does shrimp taste good, but they also provide a lot of nutritional value. It provides zero carbs, and it's very rich in our protein. So it is a great source, y'all. Now we're going to sprinkle on some green onions. Oh, doesn't that look so good? So colorful and so many textures and layers of flavor. Such a healthy dish. No rice, no peas, all fresh veggies. Makes this dish simply carblessly delicious. Now if your household is like mine, and you may have family members who aren't necessarily watching their carbs, well, this is what I love about this recipe. I'm gonna simply remove my portion and set it to the side. 
I'm going to add this cooked white rice that I prepared into the wok, which is still warm. And I'll go ahead and combine it with the remaining shrimp and veggies. And guess what? They'll never notice the cauliflower. It'll blend so well with the other veggies. Go ahead and incorporate all that delicious flavor onto the white rice. And there you have it, two in one. The whole family is about to kiss you on the cheek. Time is always well served in the kitchen when your food brings joy to others. So rewarding seeing your family go back for seconds. I'm telling you, y'all, this is the effect this dish will have in your home. Oh, look how delicious this looks. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dive in. Love you guys. Shout out to all my carbless kings and queens. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you guys. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. Videos are uploaded every week that show you how to modify your favorite dishes into low carb and keto friendly sensations. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that you can stay inspired in the kitchen to eat healthy and to live your best life. Check out these other fantastic recipes and I hope to see you around. Peace and blessings.